Hey there everyone, Paradise Gamer 13 here, and I am determined to get through um, these legendaries here. It's just going to be like one legendary after another through, uh, well, I guess hey, we're, we're getting close now to catching them all. I think we've just got Mewtwo left for this so far. So I'm, yeah, I'm acting like it's way more of a big deal than it really is. But I'm, uh, yeah, I'm not used to going through this many legendaries like in a row. I guess I could take a break and do other things, but I, I, I at least want to get, because Zapdos, I think, is up next. So, I mean, you know, they're, you know, Zapdos, Articuno, they're connected. So it would be nice to do them together, I guess, if nothing else. And I should have put a Repel on. Oh, uh, well. I mean, I don't really have that far to go before I get to the power plant, so it shouldn't really be much of a problem, hopefully. Okay. So far, so good. I like how you can see the Lavender Tower in the distance, too. Um, so, yeah, I don't really know how to trigger this, though. I just know that it's at the power plant. So, oh, well, I guess he's uh right there. I was going to say, like, I, I know it's, like, at the power plant, but I wasn't sure, like, what part of the power plant. But I guess that answers that question. Um, I'm going to do something I don't normally do here and actually save... Because, I mean, it's not like I've done anything important. And even if my recording data gets lost at this point, I can just start from here. No big deal. So let's just go ahead. Uh, well, let's see here. Yeah. I, yeah, this setup is all right. Um, yeah. Yeah. I'm pretty sure I'm going to get, like, level 50, because I think that's what Articuno was. I would say this fight should go e over easier than the Articuno fight. But I don't really know. Because I was thinking originally, like, electricity won't hurt Victory Bell, like, at all. Or at least it shouldn't. Um, but he might have, like, Drill Peck or something. I don't quite remember. Also, I don't remember what, uh... What moves I used against him. Let's try... I think I did an Ice Fang, but that was just, like, neutral damage. Whereas it'd be super effective against, uh, poor Zapdos here. Um, I kind of want to try a Rock Climb. Surely that won't kill it. It probably will. Actually, I'm like, oh, no, it didn't. Okay. Oh, now he's confused, though. That, oh! Holy cow. I was about to say, like, well, it'll chip away a little bit of damage. Um, <laughs> we are in a seriously dire situation right now. Um, okay, please break out of confusion. Don't hit yourself. Or, okay. Okay. And he's probably going to outspeed me here, too, so I need to get lucky again and put him to sleep so he cannot do bad things to himself. Oh, no, I outsped him. Okay. Okay. Oh, wow. All right, I'm safe for the time being. Uh, I don't remember if confusion and uh, sleep overlap, though. So, wait, how many super repels did I say I have? I only have nine. Ooh. I guess it's a good thing I didn't just randomly use one like that. Um, also, is it... Uh, it's probably not dark enough. It's not even, like, nighttime here. So I can't really use my net Dusk Ball trick. Um, I could... I mean, I don't need to use Timer Balls now, because that wouldn't be make any sense. I guess I'll just have to go with uh, Ultra Balls for now. This isn't cool. Is it? I mean, the sky is dark, but I think that's just because... Well, maybe it will work. I really don't know. I think it's after 8 p.m., uh... So the bonuses activate. Or is it after 6? That really would change things, because it's like 6.15 right now. So um, that kind of dates the fact that I'm recording this about probably an hour before I'm uploading it. But uh, <laughs> regardless, um, I don't really know. I should have waited a little bit longer, I guess. Oh, well. And got that bonus. Um, did, did he wake up? I didn't pay attention. Oh, he woke up now. Oh, he's still confused. I'm sorry, Zapdos. Well, at least your special defense has been raised. Why did that confusion hit do so much, though? Like, I didn't quite understand that. Because his attack isn't... Isn't it based on, like, attack and stuff? Because I know, like, Swagger, like... Well, I don't know. I don't think his attack is that high, though, is it? I don't know. Yeah, whatever. whatever. Um... Uh, no. I haven't had too much luck so far. This will probably be like, oh, by the way, this is, <laughs> this might be a boring video for all I know. Unless I like catch him with a Pokeball or something. With, w w w uh, with my luck though, that would probably, w I'd probably like fail at recording that or something somehow. But 
Regardless, um, yeah. It's pretty much the same strategy that I've used against every legendary I've fought so far, you know, like, randomly hit him with a random move from for Alligator. Oh, good, he's Dawn or Confused. <sighs> okay, this could go a lot better now. Um, oh, he still has, he has pressure, too. <sighs> I hate that. <laughs> it's just annoying, so, I don't know. I'm trying to think, because the one guy I fought didn't have it. And neither did uh, whoever I fought before that, Jirachi or whoever. I don't think. No, Jirachi has Serene Grace. I should know that because I really like that ability. And am I actually going to catch him this fast? No, I'm not. Oh! Huh! Wow, I didn't even... I mean, I guess I could edit some stuff out, but it's like... It hasn't been long at all. Great, now I've got to find something else to do. Um, <laughs> otherwise, this is going to be like a ridiculously short part. Um, Zapdos does not involve. What if they did... Uh, I mean, they do have some legendary Pokemon with Mega Evolutions. What if they did Mega Evolutions for the Legendary Birds? That would be something that would be pretty cool to see. Um, we got one from you too, and he's a Gen 1 Legendary, so I mean, you know, could happen, I guess. Um, it's kind of an outlandish thought, though. I like how he was just kind of chilling there to the side of the power plant. I wonder if any of the workers noticed him at all. But, uh, so what should I do now? I guess I could fly back to the PC, at least. And like, look at look at my legendaries, um, and see what we've got. And uh, yeah, might as well do that. Um, I think. I'm trying to think of what else to do now. I mean, I, I know I I know there's a bunch of stuff that I uh, from the last update. I think still there's like some uh, other areas that stuff that I haven't have I been to them yet. Oh man. I don't remember. <laughs> I'm drawing a complete blank on that. But uh, I'll have to look. In the meantime, though, let's... Oh, I hit the wrong button. Um, a summary. Uh, okay. I, I can never remember which stat is the... Which is the plus stat and which is the minus. I think red is minus and blue is plus. Which isn't bad. Um, plus special attack is good for Articuno, so that, that wouldn't be bad. Um, what, what's its nature? I didn't pay attention. Careful. Uh, I don't know what. The, eh. Sometimes, like I know for sure, adamant is plus attack minus defense. So some of them I know off the top of my head. Some of them I don't. Ancient power, psychic agility, or er, psychic. We're at the type there. Agility, ice beam, reflect. Okay. Reflect isn't too fascinating, but uh, it's manageable. I keep hitting the wrong button. All right, here we go. He also has Ancient Power, Charge, Agility, and Discharge. So that's a nice little combination right there. You've used Charge, I think, and Discharge. I mean, it's kind of, I don't, you know, I don't think anybody really ever does it. But if you have this set up, you know, you can use Charge and you can use Discharge for, I think, some extra power. I don't know if it actually says that. Um, oh, it just boosts the power of the electric, any electric move. I thought it was specifically uh, Discharge, which... Maybe I'm just thinking because they both have the word charge in the name. But, uh, yeah. And it raises your special defense. It's not bad. I mean, it's not the best stat raising uh, attack or whatever. But I guess it's passable. He didn't. Oh, he has discharge. I was like, he didn't even have, like, an attacking. Uh, or attacking electric attack, but he does. So. I, for some reason, I thought he had, like, drill pack or something, too. But at least. I guess he's, he didn't. Well, not that I'm complaining, of course. Um. Yeah, that's that. Impish nature. Uh, I don't know that one either. I wonder if any of my Pokemon... I need to find someone who has an adamant nature. And then I can figure that out. Um, what does he have? Calm nature? I think... Or, what did I... I said it, uh, adamant is not plus attack minus defense. It's plus attack minus special attack. I don't know what I was saying. Um, well, that's a tough call, though. I would say... Maybe the red is the plus, because I don't know why else. I mean, he's not EV trained or anything, but I'm pretty sure um, his special defense isn't normally, like, on par with his attack. So maybe that's the case. Uh, let's try to figure. I gotta find one that I know. Okay, modest. This is one I know. So, okay, so the blue one is the minus. The red one is the plus. So that's actually, that's actually good nature for Jinx. Um, because, you know. Jinx doesn't need attack. Um, where a special attack... I mean, look at that. Big ol' 170. That's good. 
He looks like he's about to grow a level too, so that's not too bad. Um, all right, have I burned off en <laughs> enough time yet? Um, what else can I do? I know there's a secret area, or not secret area. There's some other areas that were uh, um, added in the last update, but I kind of feel like I've already been to them, but I don't really remember. Um, I mean, I wouldn't, I, I don't really want to start anything per se in this video, but I could at least get, well, let's see here, I'm at the train station. I don't remember if, uh, you can go to it or not. I don't know if it's like one of the ones that you take a train to or not. Is it one of the ones that, uh, uh maybe not. I'm just talking to myself at this point. Um, so ignore my rambling, but, uh, let's, let's just see what he has to say. Um, if it's anything worthwhile before we call it quits. Um, where do you want to go? Ancient Ruins. Okay, so that, I've already been to the Ancient Ruins. Maybe it's not. Maybe I'm just... I should have just gone to Goldenrod. Yeah, that would be easier than flying there, maybe. You get to see me ride the train again. I haven't done that in a while. I don't think. Um, but other than that, I mean, I guess I'll just wrap up this part here. It's going to be really short. So, um, I, I just... I did. I really need to just, uh, was not a val- um, I can't even talk now because I'm just so shocked, I guess. Um, but I really don't know what, uh, what am I even talking about now? I'm really <laughs> just trying to search for stuff. I guess I can go back to the Berry Vista. Um, sure, let's do that. Because I, I know I, well, I don't know for sure, but I'm pretty sure I planted some berries there. Granted, that was like, months ago or something like that maybe so they're pr probably not very viable but uh nonetheless let's just check on them and uh see i think i <laughs> there it is um yeah I'll, I'll water the uh like two month old berry is that the only one i planted i guess i did because i knew that i probably wouldn't be coming back for a while well that was kind of anticlimactic um oh i can't head uh, oh oh i can do this all right. Oh, and it's a lady bar. I don't even know if I have one or not. Let's uh, let's actually make a vague effort to catch him. Somehow, I don't know what level he'll be, but uh, I don't really have anything to like just lightly touch him with. Oh, I have a quick ball. What am I saying? Let's do that. Of course, I mean he's kind of common anyway. I think. I'm pretty sure you can usually find him outside of Goldenrod. So I do not have one, but oh, I've got net balls too, and the dusk balls might work in here, maybe. Not sure. Um, at least I'll get my quick balls for the, some good use today. But yeah, it looks like it'll work. I was like, the quick balls are just ridiculous for catching common Pokemon, which I like to some extent. Like I appreciate as much as I like rant about using up 500 dust balls and like restarting several times and stuff for legendaries. Like it's a, it's a nice to have a legitimate challenge. And at the beginning of the game, you know, when you just have Pokeballs and you're trying to manage that and maybe get a Great Ball or something, I appreciate that. But when you're, like, going through and just trying to fill up your Pokedex and stuff, I really like that they have a, a, a ball like the Quick Ball, which is almost a guaranteed catch every time. Not necessarily, maybe, but more often than not, you know. As long as you use it on the first turn, of course. Um, so I can't complain. I like I'm just a mini tangent there, but, you know. Uh, that being said... So that was pretty cool. We got ourselves a little hidden grotto there. I didn't even know that was there. I just kind of, like, I kind of, like, I saw those trees, and I was like, just for kicks, I'll look and see if there's one here. And there was. So that was incredibly convenient. Um, in the meantime, though, that is uh, really all I'm going to do for this video. Um, I'll definitely, hopefully, yeah, I, I will definitely do something that is more extensive. Because I know I've had a couple of short parts in a row with all these legendary battles. But in the meantime, if you guys like this video, I'd appreciate hitting that like button and potentially subscribing to my channel if you haven't done so and you get notified of future content and stuff. And as always, hope you guys enjoyed, and thanks again for watching.